Fewer things mean more to a parent than the health of their children. Why vaccinate when it only damages the body and they're seeing a rise in autism and in ADHD and cancer. Ivy is among the growing number of parents choosing to not vaccinate, a figure that has doubled over the past 10 years. I realize that nothing has ever been proven at the same time. They are looking at the incidence of autism, of developmental delays, of ADD. They're looking at the number of children that are being put on medications and they're saying, wait a minute, there's something wrong here. The parents are afraid that the vaccine is not safe and they're doing it out of the best intentions. They want to protect their children. They don't realize how deadly the diseases are. Diseases like measles have incredible spreading power. Imagine a student sitting here. There's no need to cough, no need for any contact. Just by breathing, the infection spreads to here. The incidence of serious illness from measles is far less than the incidence of serious mental disturbances now, and I suspect that the two are connected. Dr. Grout's suspicions, at least for now, are all that she has to go on. There is currently no evidence that directly connects mental disorders to vaccinations. Parents have the right to choose not to vaccinate their children, but the rest of us have a right to not be exposed to those vaccine-preventable diseases. But Ivy is confident in her decision. We don't live in a third world country where most diseases are. I think if you keep a healthy household and a home and feed your children nutritional food, I think that's going to be our best defense.